The following footage depicts a desertic wasteland where there is little vegetation, trees, or water. Soviet soldiers seem to be preparing a nuclear detonation in the middle of nowhere. Nothing unusual given the epoch. Nonetheless, the objective is a peculiar one. It was filmed in Semi, Kazakhstan in 1965 when the Soviet regime conducted various nuclear tests that had a non-violent intention. They were part of the Soviet Union's nuclear explosions for the National Economy Program. The aim was to create artificial lakes using thermonuclear detonations that produced colossal craters that would then be filled with water from nearby rivers. If successful, the artificial lakes would support the local economies of villages and zones highly productive in agriculture. The result was the creation of Lake Shagan, known today as the Atomic Lake, for its highly radioactive water. No fish, humans, or any other living thing lived nearby. Although the Soviet Union was once proud of its successful artificial creation, it was quickly abandoned when the USSR fell in 1989. There was nothing that could be done to mitigate the radiation levels. Since then, the lake has become an area highly visited by tourists for its grim ambiance. It is a ghost town that represents the Cold War era and the failed human ambitions of putting nuclear power toward a peaceful purpose. The Soviet nuclear explosions for the National Economy Program was an idea borrowed from its Cold War enemy, the U.S. Under Operation Plowshare, the Americans tried to use nuclear technology in a peaceful way to build canals, artificial aquifers and reservoirs, and for fossil production or moving large masses of Earth. Operation Plowshare was first established by the Atomic Energy Commission in 1958 to, quote, explore the technical and economic feasibility of using nuclear explosives for industrial applications. Nonetheless, after 27 tests, they realized it was not feasible and stopped testing in 1975 due to environmental concerns. The Soviet Union, on the other side, continued testing until 1989 and conducted a total of 156 tests before reaching the same conclusion as their American counterpart. Lake Shagan, or Lake Balapan, was created on January 15, 1965, in Semi, Kazakhstan, as part of the Soviet program. It was their first attempt at trying to do so. A 140 kiloton nuclear device was placed in a 178 meter deep hole in the dry bed of the Shagan River. The explosion created a 400 meter wide, 100 meter deep crater with a lip height of 20 to 40 meters connected with the Shagan River, a tributary of the Irtish River. The operation had an initial success that was quickly overshadowed by the cons produced by the radioactive plume, which was detected as far away as Japan. Although the US was quick to complain that the Soviets were violating the October 1963 limited test ban treaty, the USSR was far more preoccupied with the radiation levels of the lake. Studies conducted later by authorities estimated that radionuclides were 100 times higher than acceptable drinking water levels. The initial success quickly faded. Secretly, the USSR was no longer happy with the results of Lake Shagan. Nonetheless, that did not stop the Soviet propaganda of marketing Lake Shagan as an astonishing success. It was 1965, and the US and the Soviet Union were now at war in Vietnam. It was the tumultuous time of the Cold War, the arms race, and the USSR sought to prove that it had found victory where the Americans had failed. The government quickly published a video that depicted the creation of Lake Shagan. The footage displayed Russian soldiers and engineers preparing the nuclear device used for creating the crater. After the explosion's blast, water is seen filling the crater. The desertic surroundings are instantly embellished by the artificial lake. Cows and other animals are then filmed drinking the lake's water, and what appears to be a duck is spotted swimming on the lake. To finish the video, the Minister of the Medium Machine Building Ministry himself, tasked with the USSR's supervision of the nuclear industry, is filmed drinking crystal clear water and taking a swim in the lake. During the late 2000s, Lake Shagan became a unique tourist attraction in Kazakhstan. It began to be called the Atomic Lake by foreigners. Tourists must wear protective clothing and gear to visit the crater and the surrounding landscape. Besides the lake, tourists can visit the abandoned ghost town that was once inhabited by over 10,000 residents. Not far from the city, 
Foreigners also visit the Shagan military airfield and the Semipolitinsk nuclear test site, which was also abandoned when the USSR fell. Since the country was declared independent from the USSR in 1991, it has become a place of interest for tourists with its authentic culture, nature reserves, and skiing and trekking activities. <laughs>